Hey guys, so here is the very easy quick start guide for the MXQ box. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this a couple times throughout the video just to explain a few things. So you saw the box. Uh, there's the HDMI cable which you'll connect to your TV, and back on it we've got there's some USB connections on the side which you can use for storage or controllers. Uh, we won't talk about that in this video, but maybe in another one. And I'm just going to connect it up. And then we'll get it started. You'll see the the logo and the the boot up screen get started. And there we go. And there's the standard remote that comes with the the Android box, the Android box that you you already have purchased or that you will be purchasing. And literally, you'll see. I'll, I'm going to pause a couple more times just to give you a few more comments, but like within within a few minutes you are literally able to watch movies TV or sports uh, I'm just gonna pick a movie in this one just to show you quickly so uh, there are a few pop-ups I'm just gonna pause here again there are a few pop-ups that come up when you first when you first connect this it, this one is asking me what the user interface I want to use I'm just picking the standard one the media box launcher and that's what you're going to see right now. So this is the very standard one. Uh, what we're going to do is go over to settings because what you have to do is just connect your TV box to the your Wi-Fi network and then we're going to go to the Kodi app to pick a movie and then we'll select a movie and watch it literally in a couple minutes. So uh, for privacy purposes, I'm blurring out the, the network and the IP, but just like you would connect your phone or any device to your Wi-Fi router or computer or laptop or anything, you're, you have to connect the Android TV box. So that's what we're doing right now. And putting in uh, you put in the password, and then you connect. And you can use Ethernet as well, uh, even faster. Uh, so what we're going to do now is flip through and go down, and that's the Kodi app which you use for uh, most of your your TV watching. And Kodi has uh, the other options. There's there's music streams you can get, just like the video streams. You can get pictures from your network drive if you have one at home. Uh, but for today, we're just going to go to the videos, and we're selecting the add-on. And that's just the, the different options that come within the video. And you're going to, again, see some of these pop-ups. And you also will see some updates that it does the, the first time that you are plugging in the Android box. And what we're doing is we are picking one channel, which is one of the, the most common video add-ons. You can select any of these. Some of them are they're basically specialized for different videos. Uh, one channel kind of got everything. Um, so we are going to go into the movies and you can see there's different categories you can do a search but for now all right, we're just going to go to the highly rated so there are literally pages and pages within each category and we are going to pick one of them the the perks of being a wallflower and once we, we pick it, so first of all, it's going to tell us it's opening the stream. And then what it does is, in some of these add-ons, it'll give you a choice of several different streams to pick. So you can just start with the first one. Uh, this, is not, this is not a completely perfect system. There are some streams that don't work. Um, most of the popular ones do. Uh, in this case, I just picked the, the first one and there's the movie up and running so uh, I really hope you enjoyed that kind of your, your first preview uh, if you press that center button for the remote it does pop up the controls show there as well and I uh, hope you guys enjoy your boxes and the free TV bye for now